Thanks for tuning in, and today I want to talk about the Victorinox Classic Pocket Knife. But before I do, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to help support my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Now, recently I posted a poll over on my community page asking whether or not the Victorinox Classic is useful or worthy of everyday carry. And thank you for all the people that filled out the poll and left some comments. And as you can tell, I'm kind of in the minority. So 67% of you said that it was worthy and useful of carry. Like I said, I after carrying it for a couple of months, I have some thoughts and just want to kind of go over why I don't want to carry this anymore. Uh, not, not just on my keychain, but also in general. So here in front of me, I have the two models that I've been carrying. This is the SD version, SD for screwdriver. They're the exact same tool set. The only difference is that on the SD version, you've got a screwdriver on the nail file instead of just a pointed end, which you can use as a nail scraper, I suppose. So I'm just gonna go over the tool set really quickly. So you've got the nail file. You got a little pen blade, which is nice. And I used this, both of these are used. So I did use my Victorinox knife sharpener. I did a video about this. If you wanna go check that out, I'll link it up above. And I really love, come to love this little sharpener, especially for these little smaller pocket knives. You just kind of rub, run it through on the um, honing stone, actually, no, sorry, sharpening stone here, 10 or 20 times. And then it's also got a pull through sharpener on the top a ceramic one that you can just kind of hone it with as well. So uh, really easy and quick to sharpen, especially smaller pocket knives like this. So next you've got a pair of scissors and these scissors are fantastic. Victorinox makes a great pair of scissors. Um, you can cut thread with this. You can cut thin pieces of paper with this. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, different things you can cut with this. You're not gonna be able to cut like thicker cardboard or zip ties or anything like that, but these are very, very capable scissors, in my opinion. Now, then you have the standard toothpick and tweezers that are uh, available on most of Victorinox's pocket knives uh, slash multi-tools. And then lastly, you have a split ring here, which you can use to attach to your keychain. And now what I went out and bought was this little holder. It comes in a two pack, which was perfect because I have two of them. Uh, it just kind of fits in right here, slides right in. I'll just show you on this one as well. And what you can do is then you can attach this to your keychain so you can pull this off and use it separately without having to have it attached to your keys, which is a great little feature. So um, I'll link all of these products below if you want to go check them out for yourself. So uh, after having gone through all that, what's the problem? Why don't I want to carry this anymore on my keychain? Well, a couple of reasons. Number one, I guess that I've been carrying these around for two to three months now. Uh, and, you know, I have no problem with the quality or the price or the weight or anything like that. It's mainly, you know, I've had these on my keychain and I've only really used them once since they've been on my keychain. So I don't particularly find them useful. That's not saying that other people might find different uses for them. But for me, don't, the first time I actually used this and since I've been carrying this, was actually at church last week when I had to open a bag of salad. And um, so that's the first thing. I don't actually don't think that even if it's just on my keychain as a backup, I just don't have any occasion to really use that because I have so many different options in terms of EDC that I usually have on me on a daily basis. So that's number one. Number two, um, and, and, and to, be, to be fair, like I said, these are both used. Uh, this one I got off eBay. I really like the wooden scales. Uh, the, this one actually was given to me by um, somebody at church. He had been at a flea market and just saw this and thought of me and bought it probably for a couple of bucks. Um, so the tools, you know, the blades were a little bit dull, but I said, like I said, I sharpened them with my Victorinox uh, sharpener and got the blades uh, up to a good working condition. So uh, no problems with in terms of like the sharpness, but it was just, I just don't think that in terms of the size, uh, it's very useful, especially if you're using this blade. I Ergonomically, it's a little hard to use. Uh, the blade is pretty thin and short. Uh, so it's just not, it's not a very stout blade. Yes, if you're just cutting small little things uh, like uh, let's say opening a letter or something like that, that's perfect. 
But even opening uh, like a plastic bag of salad, I struggled with it a little bit. So I was very surprised at that, that it had that I couldn't really cut through it as easily as I thought versus something like this, which you can see it's not much bigger, uh, just a little bit wider. Um, this is just like a $6 knife that I got off on Amazon. It's a Chinese brand, but this has a really nice blade shape, uh, G10 scales, and it's got a D2 blade steel. So uh, when I use this, which I've used on multiple occasions, I just found that the blade is so much better than this. And this is a multi-tool as well. It does have a little scraper that you can use as a screwdriver. So the only thing you're missing on this are the scissors, the tweezers, and a toothpick. But honestly, and this one actually is a little bit thinner as well, uh, this has actually been, I kind of has replaced these on my keychain. So I'm thinking of buying this, another one of these to replace or place on my other keychain since I do have two sets of keys. Um, the other thing is other people have mentioned that uh, there's better Victorinox models out there, uh, specifically the Rambler and the Midnight Manager, I believe. Now I'm not familiar with those models, but I have something similar. Uh, as you can see, this is just, uh, it's very similar to the Victorinox tool set. It's got the scissors which actually a little bit bigger. And these scissors work just as well as the ones on there. On the other side, you have a blade and I'm just gonna show you uh, just in terms of size, the difference. You can see this one has a much more substantial blade, thicker and longer. So this one works a lot better than this one. And because it's a bigger, it's got a bigger handle, this, it's all stainless steel. It just feels better in terms of ergonomics as well. And then you also got, similar to the Victorinox, a, a nail file with a little slotted screwdriver here and even additional bottle bottle cap lifter right here. Um, and this is really good for nail care, nail care, excuse me, it's hard to say. Uh, right here, you've got a really nice pair of nail clippers. Now I use these all the time uh, because sometimes when I get to work, I realize I haven't cut my nails. I can just go take these out and cut my nails really quickly at work, no problem. And these are super sharp. One of the sharp, sharpest pair of nail clippers I've ever owned. Uh, so that's a real big bonus. And then it's also got a split ring here so you can attach this to your keychain. And it's not that all that much bigger. So I would have no problem putting this on my keychain. But I usually put this in my little pocket organizer. It fits a little bit better there. So um, you could also go, you know, a lot bigger. Uh, I have the Victorinox Tinker. This was one of the things that really helped me to solidify my love of Victorinox. I've, this was probably one of my first EDC items. I got this, I got a really great price on this. They've gone up in price since I bought this, but uh, this has just so many different tools. Obviously, you've got the blade, you've got the scissors, you've got um, the bottle opener and the can opener and um, the tweezers and this a toothpick and you can still put it on a, a keychain if you wanted with the split ring here. It's got a screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and it's even got an awl and a parcel hook, which I absolutely love. This just really comes in handy for camping situations when you don't want to touch hot handles over a fire or um, even just get, when you need a little bit of lev leverage. I mentioned before how I use these on the springs on my trampoline in order to take the springs on and off uh, during, depending on the season. And so you could go with something like this. And because of all the tools, it's way more useful than just having the tools on here. But maybe you don't need all these tools and maybe you do like the size. So it really depends on, you know, uh, your preference, you know, does size matter? Does weight matter? Do, do, do you need to have a bunch of tools or you can just, you just need a limited set of tools? Uh, for me, I think this is way better. Uh, obviously, it's not really going to fit on your keychain as nicely as this, but I just throw this in my pocket. A lot of people attach a lanyard and help a loop it around their belt. Uh, I think this just is way more versatile. So uh, in terms of price, I think I actually paid like $26 for this. Um, they've gone back up significantly since I bought this. Um, these, you know, I used to get these for free when growing up, a lot of companies would buy them in bulk and put their company logo on this, on there to advertise or give away as party gifts when you open a new account or something like that. This one is kind of an example of that. 
Victolic. It says Victolic on here. Uh, it said on the other side, it says established 1925. Um, so they had their 75th anniversary back in 2000. So um, just really cool uh, when companies did that kind of thing back then. I don't know if they still do that now. I'm sure they do. But, um, you know, even on Amazon, I just saw that they're back up to like $24, which I think is a little bit pricey for something like this. Uh, you can let me know in the comments below uh, what you think of the price. But, you know, if you, know, if you wanted to just kind of still have a multi-tool and, you know, not sacrifice on the size, uh, you could still pick up something like this. And this is the next tool. I just got this. The next tool, Mini Sailor Light. Now, what you're sacrificing is uh, this one is bladeless. There's no blade on this. And that could be an advantage in some ways. I know Victorinox is coming out with bladeless uh, Swiss Army knives um, soon. I'm not sure when they're going to be released, but they made an announcement recently. Uh, the great thing about this is if you have this on your keychain, let's say you forget about it uh, and you go through TSA, this doesn't have a blade. So you should be able to get it through TSA and fly with this. So what this has is some, uh, it, the main feature is that it comes with a pair of spring-loaded pliers. And I really like that. Uh, it's great to have a pair of pliers. So it's got needle nose, regular pliers. You can, it's got a wire cutter in the middle. And so um, that's what's inside when you unfold it. And then on the outside, you've got a pair of, let's just do this side first, a two-dimensional Phillips head. So I've never actually used a two-dimensional Phillips before, but uh, I'm eager to test that out. And I'll probably do a separate review video of this since I just got this in. I'm just going to put these down right over here. Then you've got a can, uh, excuse me, bottle cap lifter, as well as a slotted scraper or screwdriver right there. And it also comes with a little SIM tool. So that's really cool. Um, you don't have to carry an extra SIM tool around with you uh, in your pocket or on your keys or wherever you keep it and potentially lose that. It's right there on the tool. And then on the other side, you've got a really nice, robust pair of scissors that open like this. So it's not the easiest to open and close, so it's maybe not as convenient, but these scissors are just phenomenal. Uh, I mean... You, if you can see, like, it cuts paracord just with no problem at all. I mean, for such a small pair of scissors, to be able to cut paracord just like that is phenomenal. Um, just to give you an idea, on these, even though I really like the scissors on these, it does struggle a little bit with paracord. I mean, it still cuts through it, but not as good as the ones on these. So, um, and as you can see, in terms of size, let me just fold the scissors back. Um, yeah, this is probably like double the size, but you can still get this on a keychain or uh, a pair of keys or a set of keys if you wanted. So I, I think this is just a great little tool. Um, and so compared to alternatives out there, um, then I'm sure there's other ones that I have in my EDC collection I just think these offer a lot more value and are a lot more useful than just having this. Now, if I were in a situation where I had nothing else and I had this on me, yeah, I would take this for sure. Uh, it's better than nothing. Um, but I think I'm just going to have to reevaluate my uh, keychain EDC setup and probably replace these with one of these that I just mentioned. So um, the other thing is... I also have this. This is a little multi-tool as well. This thing I use all the time because of the scraper. It's also got a bottle cap opener or some wrenches, a ruler, and it's just so convenient to be able to clip this on to your keychain or your belt. Um, and so that one, you can see it's about the same size and a lot thinner, but uh, just so many things that are useful about this. The only thing that these don't have, obviously, that these do have, are the toothpick and the tweezers. So if you need tweezers and toothpick on a regular basis, I guess that, that could be a case where you might want to carry this. Um, even though, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of space on my keychain, uh, on my keys, I just I, I just don't think it's really worth it. So, um, you know, it's, but I like the weight, I like the size, I like the tools. There's so many good things about it, but the fact that I've only used this once 
actually it was, it was this one uh, in the last couple of months since I've had it on my keychain is it really does say something it say something to me so um, that's why um, you know maybe I'll come back to it in the future I'm gonna obviously keep these in my collection um, kind of stored away someplace maybe I'll change my mind in the future but I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions below uh, you know maybe try to persuade me that I'm wrong I'd love to hear what you have to say and until the next video as always, God bless.